Hey guys, I hope you're all doing fine. Today we are going to talk about laptops once again, and specifically the Gigabyte Aero 15 OLED. But before we get into the video, just a few words for transparency's sake. This video was sponsored by Gigabyte and Intel, and even though I was compensated for the production of this video, there was no influence on the things I'm going to tell you about from either company. Alright, let's get into it. While I was still very happy with my Aero 17 from 2019, I immediately jumped on the chance to test the Aero 15 as my new main mobile editing rig. Generally, I prefer to work on 17-inch laptops, especially if you're working on the go without an additional external screen. But since I saw the OLED screen in the 15-inch version for the first time, I just really wanted to test and try it more in depth. If you follow me on social media, you probably noticed by now that I'm a big OLED fan. And this laptop display once again shows me why. The contrast and especially the clarity, no matter if you're editing videos, editing photos, if you're watching Netflix or if you're gaming, it's just jaw-dropping. Combine this with amazing color reproduction and almost full coverage of Adobe RGB and Delta E values below one and you get an amazing display for both work and play. Apart from the display, my Aero 15 comes with everything you could ask for as a traveling content creator. The smaller footprint compared to a 17-inch laptop makes it much easier to move around or fit on your desk. Or any desk. It comes with two NVMe SSDs, giving it a total of 2TB of insanely fast storage. And it's also kitted out with 64 gigs of RAM, giving me enough headroom for even the largest Photoshop files I'm working with. In the graphics department, Gigabyte also didn't fool around, and casually equipping an RTX 3080, currently the fastest laptop GPU available. Not only that, but they are also giving it enough power to stretch its legs without overwhelming the cooling capabilities of a 15-inch chassis. The heart of the system is Intel's flagship i9 mobile CPU. With 8 cores and very generous power draw, it takes this small laptop from a mobile editing solution to something that makes me question why I even bother with a full-blown desktop PC. As a retoucher, I spend most of my time in Photoshop. And while Photoshop itself isn't a program that takes full advantage of multi-core performance, it puts a lot of load on individual cores, and generally performs very well with fast cores. And with the highest boost clocks in Intel's lineup, the i9 handles everything from general retouching to more complex filters and actions, and even the largest files with ease. It's also staying insanely snappy throughout my entire workflow with fan noise that never bothered me while working. When it comes to applications that take full advantage of all cores and threads, the Aero 15 also isn't fooling around. The cooling system is able to maintain stable clock speeds and temperatures with reasonable noise levels. Even after longer workloads, there are no significant dips in performance and the whole system runs insanely stable. I do all of my video editing in DaVinci Resolve and it works very well on the Aero 15 and the i9, even with 4K footage. I edited and graded this video on the Aero 15 and I never felt like I was compromising on anything considering I was working on a mobile solution. Even while exporting, the CPU and the GPU were working effectively together, barely giving me enough time to get a coffee. Apart from the raw specs and performance, what I really like about Gigabyte's Aero lineup is their flexibility to be integrated in almost all kinds of setups. Of course it's amazing to only work on the laptop itself, but they also work very well in a desk setup. With all the ports you could possibly ask for, without the need for any adapters or dongles, it's a great desktop replacement. And with Intel's Thunderbolt technology, you can easily dock this thing with one cable or do crazy things like adding an external GPU. I personally really like the addition of a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet connection, enabling me to take advantage of my 10 gigabit Ethernet server for some extra network speeds. One of my videos wouldn't be complete without talking about gaming. I'm a big fan of open world story games and amazing graphics. The combination of Intel's i9 and Nvidia's RTX 3080 are able to handle most games in the OLED's native 4K resolution with high or ultra settings and playable frame rates. In addition, the OLED display is HDR certified, which makes for even more impressive visuals in supported games. It's very hard to describe, but with so much contrast, some of the games I played offer a completely new and much more immersive experience. Somehow Gigabyte even managed to keep noise levels in check, so it doesn't sound like you're running a chat engine while playing at high resolutions or high frame rates. 
All right, guys, I hope I was able to give you a good peek under the hood of the Aero 15 and what makes this thing work so well for me as a creative professional and content creator. I definitely can't wait to use it in my studio as my living room gaming PC or while on the road once traveling is a thing again. If you want to follow me on social media or learn more about my work, please feel free to check out the following links. Once again, a big thank you to Gigabyte and Intel for sponsoring this video. And I really hope to see you all in the next one.